This is pink. <laughs> it's really, really pink. It's loud, isn't it? It's loud and it's proud. This is gonna be my new slope duro bike. I'm buzzing about it. I haven't built a bike for quite some time. If you know what a slope duro bike is, it's where you take an enduro bike. This is the Marin Rift Zone 27.5 and you make it single speed, lightweight, no gears, that is single speed. You drop the saddle, no dropper post. You just make it a trick bike where you can do bar spins, tail whips. I've done that before. Here's a, some clips of me doing it on my last one. Yo. Oh! Oh <laughs> but this one is my opportunity to make a dream bike, a dream slope duro. And honestly, Muckoff have made this happen. Muckoff have repainted my entire frame and made it look just so insane. There's so many nods towards the playground on it. It literally says playground there. But there's a set of trails up the Marin logo. They've added the surfboard on there, which is such an iconic feature at the playground. And to be honest, all we've done for the last three months is dig the playground. It's become such a big part of this channel. And Muckoff have designed me a custom Marin trail bike, which I'm gonna do tricks on, which absolutely is my new custom playground bike. It's got my name on it. It's pink. The, like the attention to detail on it is nuts. Image Design Custom paint all my Red Bull helmets and clearly bikes, they just think so far outside the box. The design crew at Muckoff have done me the sickest frame I've ever had. And then look at this. How good does that go? That's my Olin's M2 coil fork. 160 mm travel. I'm obviously not gonna build this bike, I'm still heavily injured. But I've come to Brink, the best bike shop on earth where wallets go to die, and they're gonna build it for me. So it's gonna look insane. I'll talk you through all the parts, the reasons why, what makes this slope duro the most epic thing ever. But can you imagine how cool it's gonna look at the end? Just everything goes so sick. Will, could you do the forks first, please? Yes. I'll box yeah, you around. Fine. That's the fork off of my other slope duro. That's the shock, that's the rear banger off of it. That's an Olin's TTX air shock. So the suspension's already set up and tuned to be a slope duro bike. Kind of really firm, ramps up quick. But I just can't wait to see what that looks like on it. It's gonna be the coolest bike. Yeah, just have a different hat on every like, <laughs> archaeology. Wheels fitted the stem, that is a hollow top cap bolt, which means that we can feed the front brake all the way through the head tube and do bar spins and tail whips on it. That's a gusset S2 stem with 40 mil reach, a little bit longer than I run on my dirt jump bike, but it's not a dirt jump bike is it, it's a slope duro. And I'm going to put a gusset S2 bar on it, this is a lovely lovely handlebar, but on my last slope duro, I got so many comments for the, because the bars are actually so narrow, they were hilariously narrow, almost too narrow, I think 700 mil. And I'm gonna get Will to cut these down to I think 710, which will still be crazy narrow. But I kind of like the jibby feel of doing X ups and knack knacks and it all feeling real, actually not that great, but real fun. <laughs> It's kind of the whole point, it's a jib beast, isn't it? Well, this is the only thing that needs cutting because the fork was done, which you get your big saw arm out. No, we've got. Not saw arm. What are we doing? Ooh. 710. Twist that round the end. The marking is mil. Yeah, so if we go there, 800 stocks. We need to go past 60. 30, 60. Might need a tape measure. Or do you want to eyeball it? Oh, no, we better it. get a tape measure out. <laughs> is that it? It's not marked it. <laughs> there we go, yeah. Oh, I'm way off, hang on, it's that one. See that? That's obvious, you draw an arrow to it. There you go, you got an arrow Good. too. When I got my shoulder surgery, they did the thing where they would draw a pen on the arm that it is. Because you hear horror stories where people go in to get their left leg amputated and then they amputate the right one. And then they still have to do the left one anyway. So it's funny, every time I had surgery, they really do come with a big pen and draw an arrow. So that when you, because they can't ask you when you're knocked out, can they? They can't say which shoulder hurts. Check this out. Oh, look at that go. No oh. Fast. Oh, it's so too short. Fast. Oh, we're not. Can you put a bit back on? <laughs> Sorry. Very impressive.
we're trying to go up and down. <laughs> Bars are on and cut down, thanks to Will. They're 710 millimeters, so super narrow, but actually kind of fun. Then brakes wise, we've got Shimano XT brakes, which are dual piston or two pot. Everyone says two pot, don't they? Down here. They're really nice because you could go for four pots. XT make four pot brakes, so I don't need that stopping power on this bike. It is just gonna be a jib bike. They're actually lighter. They look really cool being a bit more low key. And I really like the levers. I like that everything's dark. It matches the bike. They look sick. That's really ugly isn't it let's be honest but it's important because it means i can do bar spins if the front brake gets rooted normally i can't but look you can just keep going around and then wind it back the other way which is cool for a slope duro i need that so we're kind of doing pretty good wheels just crank the bottom bracket in there oh i also got tie bolts so i went on a website where you could just buy bolts and you put in the pitch the head whether you want them countersunk like everything you design the bolt choose the color and as long as they're titanium they've got them but they're like five, six pound a bowl, but for me that's worth it. Like look how sick they look. And we've got a whole pot of them over there. So I've tried to buy a variety and we'll see as we go how many we can swap out. But as a dream build, you need titanium bolts, don't you? They're lighter, they're literally half the weight and they look really, really trick. So next, talking of trick, you've seen these before, Cane Creek E-Wings cranks. They're titanium as well, they're so light and they just look the business. I was gonna go with Shimano cranks, but as a dream build, I just thought I'll use the titanium ones that I've had on. I mean, these have been on four of my bikes. I just recycle them constantly, <laughs> but they will look good for that finished completion photo. They are 170 mil long. They did make a shorter one for a dirt jump bike, but 170 is perfect. They're gonna look cool, aren't they? Really, really good. And then as far as chain ring goes, obviously I'm using an absolute black oval ring, which is far from round, but it feels really good. Absolutely pointless on a single speed bike, really, but because I'm not going to be doing any pedaling, but it's what I run on all my bikes and it looks the business. And I went with black. They've got such a range of colours. I pulled a gold one out of my little bits box I brought earlier. Ben kicked off, Will kicked off. <laughs> Joe through there was livid. <laughs> Toby, are you upset or are you into the gold one? I was disappointed. Which is the worst reaction <laughs> ever. I kind of thought that there's a bit of gold there. No. But Forget about it. It yes. has to be, doesn't it? It's got to be. Nice. So that's 30 teeth. And I haven't figured out what one on what mechanical advantage we're going for with the rear driver ratio yet, but let's put all this on. Well, in fact, can Will, can you put it all on? Not only can Will put it on, because he works here at Brink, he can put it on properly. <laughs> Over to you, Will. <laughs> How good does that look? down there in the engine room. That is the color. <laughs> kind of wish I went with gold though, it would have upset everyone. Stop. That's kind of gold, look, got a gold name. It's yellow, nothing about it gold. It's closer to pus colored than gold, isn't it? <laughs> How good's the oval though? So sick. Right, next I guess we're gonna do all of it. Wheels, tires, rotors, grips. Should we finish the bike? It's right there, finish line's in sight. Will, over to you. <laughs> I'll play it in reverse, even better. You ready for this? Don't do that, the customer. Yeah, go on. I can't hear, hear about him. Who has an Android? Me. Jesus. She's done. <laughs> and just like that, what would usually take me two and a half days, these guys did in about three and a half hours, which for a full bike build is so impressive. And it's absolutely mega. There's so much going on. It's loud. I mean, it's a muck off bike. You've probably seen the bikes they've done in the past with matching frame and forks, all custom painted. They're never tame, are they? They're never boring. And this just speaks volumes 
for their approach to doing bikes. It's so sick looking. And it's kind of got this real cool wavy swirly pattern, which also features in like my gusset finishing kit. So that's my signature saddle, which I've got, which is out now. And these sleeper grips and this signature swirl. It kind of matches that, but in a different color. We also have done loads of stuff with that in Hellfit, haven't we? With our yeah. guide bro kit and our t-shirt. So I love that. That was super important to have that. And I just love it. I love that it's got the playground theme. It's such a big, it's been the biggest thing we've done this year by miles. And everyone I speak to, no matter where I go in Europe or Canada in the last few months, they're all frothing on the playground. And now I've got a bike that does the same. So we've got a Hellfair range that does the same. The Halo wheels are just the classic Vortex ones that I love. We chose to put gray stickers on, which are kind of subtle. I, could, I think we'd have been mad to go with any color anywhere else on this bike. The Olin sticker on the rear shock just about goes. I'm, I'm happy enough. It clashes a bit, but I'm happy enough to leave it. No yellow on the front Olins, which is fair enough. So there's no point doing yellow back there. I just can't wait to ride it, to be honest. That's the main thing. It's gonna feel so good. The suspension's been set up by Plush here for the last bike. So I know how good it feels. I know what tricks I can do on it. I've gone for a Trail King rear tire, the Kaiser front tire. So it's a bit more of a trail center rear tire. It's gonna be a bit lighter, a bit faster rolling and Dirk Kaiser, but I want the front end grip for big bike parks. And then to make it single speed, we've used a Shimano Z rear mech, which has got a really, really short cage. So it looks tidy. And as you can see, that's pulled quite tight, but it just works perfectly for a low short travel bike. The business. And then tie bolts, we really went to town on this. <laughs> we found two that fit the bottle cage. One for the seat clamp. The rotors are done. As many bolts as we could find that we could swap that I had the right fit for, we have indeed swapped. So it's just sick, isn't it? It's such a cool looking bike. And these pedals are really nice too. New gusset ones. Don't know what it weighs, doesn't matter. Ben is probably gonna ride it before me. <laughs> but at some point we'll take this somewhere to the playground. But it's done, it's my favorite custom bike. I might, in the next few weeks while I'm still injured, re revitalize all my other custom bikes from over the years, like the Galaxy one. I don't know, it's just so cool. Thank you, Brink. Thank you, Muckoff. Thank you, Marin. Thank you to all my sponsors. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the van. <laughs> Legends. Do it again. No, sorry, do it again. It's not focusing right, do you?